An investigation into three Keele Middle School students has been launched. The school district has filed a Title IX complaint accusing the students of using incorrect pronouns while addressing another student. Fox 11's Monique Lopez spoke with the parent of one of the students in this Project Education report. I received a phone call from the principal over at the elementary school forewarning me, letting me know that I was going to be receiving an email uh, with sexual harassment allegations against my son. Rosemary Rabadoo's 13-year-old son, Brayden, is one of the three eighth grade Keele Middle School students accused of sexual harassment, something she disputes. He said he's being allegedly charged with sexual harassment for not using proper pronouns. I thought it wasn't real. I thought this has got to be a gag, a joke. Um, one has nothing to do with the other. According to the Wisconsin Institute for Law and Liberty, or Will, now defending the accused students, in March, one of their peers announced the pronouns they prefer to be addressed as, they or them. One of the alleged incidents Brayden and the others were supposedly involved in happened in April. She had been screaming at one of Brayden's friends to use proper pronouns, uh, calling him profanity. And this friend is, you know, very soft spoken and kind of just sunk down into his chair. And Brayden finally came up defending him, saying uh, he doesn't have to use proper pr pronouns. It's his constitutional right to not use. You can't make him say things. Some might say or think that you or your son are against the LGBTQ plus community. Not at all. Not at all. My my children have been raised to love everybody equally. Shortly after finding out her son was being investigated, Rosemary reached out to Will. Title IX sexual harassment typically covers things like uh, rape, uh, dating violence, uh, quid pro quo sexual favors, right? Really egregious stuff. There's nothing even remotely close to that alleged in this case. Will says the school district's policy doesn't cover the misuse of pronouns, and neither does Title IX. Oh my God, stop it, or I will turn this on and leave you in agony all night. There are four lights. There are five lights. How many do you see now? As if our school districts weren't already looking bad enough for injecting Marxist ideologies into the curriculum, now at least one of them is targeting kids with legal action for not using someone's preferred pronouns. How can anybody watch this and not realize that we're under attack from within? They keep denying that they're part of a Marxist cult, yet here they are trying to use the law against kids who refuse to see five lights and play along with mental delusions. If you don't bend to their will and use the pronouns they want, it's sexual harassment. The Orwellian manipulation of language here is just off the charts. This is just completely insane. And whoever it is that's actually harassing these three kids should not only lose their job, but they and the district should face a lawsuit. Based on the principal recently deleting his Twitter account, I'm guessing he has something to do with it. The First Amendment is very clear, and you cannot compel or coerce these kids or anyone else into using somebody else's made up chosen pronouns. The people in this district are so dumb because a Shawnee State University professor just recently in April won a $400,000 lawsuit against the school because they fired him for not playing along with these pronouns. The attorney said that he hoped this would send a message to the universities, but apparently this district didn't get that message. I gotta tell you, for the first time with three kids and two of them in school right now, I'm seriously considering homeschooling and that is something that I never even considered a possibility. All right, folks, that's all I have for that one. Please hit that like button, share, and subscribe. Then leave a comment to let us all know what you think. Thanks a lot. Have a great weekend.